So the Vector 4 modulator inside Bitwig Studio is a funny one because it looks nice. You have here this dot that you can move around in each corner. And each corner has a modulator handle where you can, you guessed it, probably apply some modulation to some random target. And then you can move between it or can morph between the modulation targets and apply different amounts of modulation to different targets. And it's kind of like the select four modulator and the mix modulator I showed you earlier, um, where you can apply, yeah, multiple amounts of uh, modulation to different targets. You also have here at the left side some kind of slider where you can lock down basically the movement to one axis. And you can also use this to modulate from other modulators. So you can highlight um, or can use a modulator handle from a different modulator and then modulate this axis here and let the ball dance. Um, there is some special... Um, yeah, there's, there's a sp special thing to how this modulation works here. And I show you this here in this example on the Polysynth. Um, there's also um, a Vector 8 modulator, which works exactly the same. But instead of 4, you have 8 modulator handles here, represented by these dots. Um, but back to the Vector 4 here. Um, let's see, we apply here with this modulator handle and the left top corner to the cutoff here in the polysynth all the way and down in the right hand corner um, we modulate here the resonance all the way right so now see how this looks like when i double click here this dot it switches back to the center but you can see we already apply some modulation to both of these targets so it's not zero and when i move here the dot to the right corner right bottom corner you can see we modulate now resonance all the way because this dot now is pretty close to this modulator handle in the right bottom corner if i switch back here to the center you can see we slowly slowly apply uh, modulation to the cutoff but very slowly and much much faster we remove the modulation from uh, the resonance so it's kind of an exponential or logarithmic uh, curve in how the modulation is applied so it's not linear right so it's not like i'm going the same speed up in resonance as i go down in cutoff so middle position is always a slight amount of modulation applied to all these targets you um, use here maybe also use here to the right top corner and maybe apply this here to the attack and maybe the bottom left we use here the Take from the amplitude. You can see we already apply a little bit of modulation to all of these targets. And only when we move the dot in one corner, we remove basically um, these two modulations where the dot is the farthest apart from. So in this case here, it's the opposite. Um, this one here and this one probably. Yeah, and also this one. So all dots are basically zero and only this uh, modulation on the left bottom corner is basically applied back to middle position so it's a logarithmic exponential curve to all of these modulations that's important to know so now do these uh, sliders here on the left and the right hand uh, on the bottom um, you can use here an LFO and can apply here a modulation to this right and also modulation to this if you want to um, maybe we uh, duplicate this here and use a different phase setting, 50%. Modulate this to that. So now you can see we basically have some kind of orbit <laughs> around, the, around this middle point here. Yeah, you can see we apply all kinds of different modulations to these points. And exactly like the Select 4 modulator, you can use this kind of a morphing preset modulator. So um, you use one of these modulator handles, dial in all the values you want to have for a certain type of sound. And then you move on to another modulator handle here and dial in a different uh, pair of values to different targets 
and create a different sound. And then you can morph between these different presets kind of, right? And you morph between all these settings and um, can maybe change between the bass sound down here and switch to a pad sound over here and maybe go to a lead sound here and maybe a snare sound there. I don't know. So you can create different kind of uh, sounds and you can morph between these sounds with this modulator pretty easily. And here the Vector 8 is basically the same, like I said before, but instead of 4, we have 8 targets. So here we have also here the middle lines. We have also targets, but it's actually, it's, it's work, it works exactly like the Vector 4. It's basically the same modulator, just having more modulation uh, targets uh, available.